off the coast of New Key, England, draw thousands of surfers and tourists during the summer. But as the freezing tides of November lap against the lonely shore, only a brave few venture out into the early morning swells. But it's just the opposite on the other side of this quaint seaside village, as a surge of nearly 2,000 international military and civilian personnel descend on Royal Airfield St. Morgan. They've come from around the world to join the Allied Rapid Reaction Corps' largest training exercise, dubbed the Arcade Fusion, since the unit moved from its former location in Germany more than three years ago. So if NATO were called to act, this headquarters would be one of the first ones called to action. Arcade Fusion is sort of an experiment for us at the ARC. And this exercise focuses on two fabricated countries near the Horn of Africa, where aggressive Cayman forces have invaded their neighboring country of Titan for their resources. And the scenario, uh, we've tried to compel Cayman to leave. They've decided not to. So in this case, NATO uh, will execute offensive operations to remove Cayman forces from Titan, uh, restore the integrity of the international boundary, and then help Titan get her uh, security forces and government back where it needs to be. It's a massive operation, even for an exercise. But it's one that geotech soldiers like Sergeant Evan Durkin can put into perspective for commanders by charting the battlefield. We are exercising uh, as though this was a, a full divisional level war, two big forces coming against each other. So we have to provide a very broad scope. But at the same side, we're having uh, humanitarian issues across it where you need to zoom in, you need to provide a, an idea of the tribal laydown in the region, the different ethnicities, religions, so that if a sustainment system had to be put in place, the commanders have the decisions to know how they should act accordingly. Tech Sergeant Scott Elgin, REF St. Morgan, United Kingdom.